Good day, folks. Welcome to the MB Wildman channel. On today's video, a real quick pro tip for those of you that are out there trying to trap raccoons. Um, whether you're trapping them for nuisance wildlife or animal control, uh, or whether you're just out there on the trap line uh, looking to trap some raccoons. Today, we're going to talk about those of you that use these live trap cage traps. Um, I don't love them, first of all. First thing I'm going to tell you right now, I don't love these traps. I find that they are too much money for what you get. And I also find that big raccoons here in New Brunswick can destroy these things. Now, I know uh, there are lots of you that use these and lots of, uh, you know, hardware stores and Canadian tires and all those places, they sell these traps. Um, and if you're not too experienced with them, maybe that's exactly what you need to catch one raccoon and relocate it from the barn. Uh, but if you are into trapping and you are going to you know, get some quality traps uh, and you want to live trap raccoons, in my opinion, this isn't it. Uh, if you want to know what I use, you can check out a couple of the videos on the channel. I use, uh, I use a couple of different ones, but um, anyway, we're going to talk about these just for a minute. And a real quick pro tip on these is uh, a couple of things. First of all, the number one thing that I don't do when I use these traps, uh, I don't put the bait inside the trap. All right, so the pro tip that we're talking about today is going to be to bait underneath this trap. All right, so a couple of different reasons why that is. All right, first of all, you know, a bunch of you out there in uh, nuisance raccoon trapping land, uh, you're just going to put your bait in this little bucket here. You're going to slide that to the back of the trap. You're going to set this trap. You're going to set this, you know, like under the porch or wherever you're going to set it. Uh, and then you're going to hope to catch a raccoon. And you know what? Some of you will, um, but not all of you. And part of the reason is that this trap has to function on this pan right here, being able to slide up and down on this, on this piece of, uh, on, this, on this bolt, on this wire right here. Okay, so it goes up here to the trigger part. What will happen a lot of times is raccoons will try to work these from the back or from the side and they'll try to reach through. Raccoons have really good, good hands, right? They'll try to reach through and they'll try to grab this and they'll grab it from all kinds of directions and sometimes they'll end up sliding it clear up like that okay so they can't get at it anymore but they've slid it all the way up and now it's underneath that pan so then they come around the trap and they go in the way they're supposed to and they're jumping up and down on this thing eating the bait out of the plastic uh, out of your container and they're jumping up and down on that pan in there and they can't snap the trap because it won't move because that little plastic container is lodged underneath okay the other thing that you'll find and it's pretty similar, um, you'll find that raccoons will sometimes, they will actually go in the way they're supposed to, right? So this is set, they'll go in here the way they're supposed to, blah, 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 and they're actually quite big. So they'll be able to stand behind the pan, like back here, and reach over with their, you know, really dexterous hands, and they'll pull that back toward themselves. And again, they'll get it lodged underneath that so that any weight that they put on that won't snap this trap. Okay, and they'll eat that empty and then they'll just back their way out of the trap and away they go. So, uh, what do we do? Well, first of all, you ditch that thing. Okay, not in the woods. That's not environmentally sound. We don't ditch it in the woods. Okay, we'll take that out with us. Uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to bait underneath this trap. That's my pro tip for uh, these cage traps. Uh, listen, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Wildman channel yet, we sure would appreciate it. Um, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like our content, you can go ahead and hit that bell. You'll get notified when we upload uh, any new stuff. All right, so uh, what do I mean when I say trap, you know, bait underneath one of these? Well, it's pretty simple. When I use one of these traps, I take uh, a knife, my trap and hammer, um, you know, a hatchet, whatever, and I carve out just a little spot on the ground, right? Just a little spot, just deep enough to hold my bait container. Okay, now depending on what you're going to use for bait, um, what I like to do, I like to save a bunch of these, right? So if I'm going to use this, I like to have some of these, uh, these are dollar store sardine cans. These are 50 cents each. This one's actually got the sardines in it. Um, but I like them because they're, they're about the right size to hold enough bait to, to catch a raccoon. You don't need a lot of bait. And they, you don't have to dig down very far. You can literally just take your hand and scrape a spot and that'll get these down into the ground. So these are really good, good for that. Um, so, simply enough, you put your sardine can or your bait bucket or whatever it's going to be, you put that in the little hole that you just dug, and then you set your trap over top of said hole as such. All right. Now, what you're going to do, what that looks like, let me see if I can show you here. All right. So, what that looks like is that right there. 
you simply have your cage trap uh, and you've got your bait underneath the trap. So there it is right there, right? So you'd open up that can of sardines or whatever you're gonna use for bait. And if you're not sure what to use for bait, go ahead and check out again. I've got a couple of different videos on the channel. Uh, what I use for raccoon bait, it's, it's uh, not this can of sardines, although this can of sardines would probably work in this area. Okay, so uh, pretty simply, that's what we got. Now, some of you are thinking, well, that's pretty easy. Right, it kind of is. But then I got others of you that have got a little experience with raccoons and you're thinking, no way, man. Andrew, that raccoon's gonna come along. They're gonna approach this trap from the side. They're gonna smell those sardines. They're gonna flip this trap out of the way and there they go. All right, so the trick to trade, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna use this method, this pro tip, and put the bait underneath the trap, once you have it all set, what you're gonna do is you're gonna drive a T-stake, one of my trapping T-stakes, just a, a piece of, of uh, rebar, about two feet long, with a six or eight inch you know, piece welded across the top, so a T-stake. You're gonna drive that right down through the back, furthest most back piece, furthest most square, down into the ground, down on top of this so that it's even. All right, what that will do is it will, the trap was now anchored, it won't move, right? So they're not gonna be able to roll it from side to side because that T-stake holds it down. They're not gonna be able to pick it up, of course, right? Because, I mean, they're pretty handy with their hands, but they're not super rugged, not gonna pick up this trap. So then, what you end up with is you end up with this trap that's all set, just like this, right? <clears throat> You're gonna, I'm gonna shove it you know, back under here, I'm gonna brush it up a little bit or whatever. That's another, that's another video and that's up to you. Um, but with it baited underneath the trap and the tea stake down there, you've got a, an animal that will work it, they can't reach it, they can't get to the bait, they're gonna actually have to come in the front and work it the right way. Then they get in the front and they still can't get to the bait. They've gotta reach down through the back of this into that underneath part to get at the bait in that sardine can, right? So they're gonna be all over this pan. They're gonna be all over that to get at that. They're gonna be really working this trap, okay? And then there you go. That snaps just that easy. And uh, two things happen here. Usually you're gonna lose your bait because the raccoon's in there and he's gonna start pulling stuff in and, and reaching in and what. So that's okay. Raccoon bait's super cheap and super easy to make. Um, but hopefully uh, they work the trap long enough. The idea is that they've worked the trap because the bait's underneath it. All right, pretty simple, pretty quick, pretty easy. Again, if you're using these cage traps and you're having some misses or you're, or you're wondering why they're not you know, getting caught, you get raccoons backing out the door or whatever that might be, pro tip, bait underneath the trap. Anyway, listen, I hope this is something that helps you out just real quick, real easy. And uh, until next time, happy hunting from the NB Wildman channel.